This went well, didn't it, last year? This really did go well. Yeah. You, you can't tell I'm sarcastic. I, I really am. As uh, Hello and welcome to this episode of the Manchester United preview show, where today... It's the big one, Manchester United versus Liverpool preview show. Obviously, I do one every year. This one, I know they lost 7-0 last year, but, you know, we're going to do another one. See how we do. I mean, the look at Anfield at the minute for Manchester United have been absolutely abysmal, neither to say the less. And to actually say that, Anfield is pretty much like a graveyard for Manchester United. How we keep losing. We keep losing... I mean, not even, like, reasonable results. They're absolutely embarrassing results. I mean, not last year, the year before, we lost 4-0 to Liverpool. And, uh, yeah, we lost 4-0, got battered. Sadio Mane scored a goal that were under Ralph Ranić. The season before, I think, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, we lost. We lost quite heavily to Liverpool, which was a frustration. Then, obviously, most notably, the one last year under Eric Ten Hag, 1-0 up lost 7-0. So, altogether, that really tells you that Anfield, in particular, is a very scary ground to go to. And I am... Most United fans are pretty nervous. However, saying that, last year, we were the ones saying that we would absolutely batter Liverpool. They got the last laugh. They lost 7... They won 7-0. Us, on the other hand, embarrassed to the core. Absolutely embarrassed. And me in particular. Oh boy. What a day that were. Thanks. But uh, yeah. I mean while we're here. Let's get underway. And let's talk about the big one. United v Liverpool. Kind of bring it on. And here we are now. Here. Well at Anfield. Where my PTSD is going to start occurring. Yeah. I don't like this ground. You know it. I don't like it. And... Yeah, p painful. I, I, I still I still get flashbacks about 7-0 in my dreams. I don't like it. So, per personally, I want us to batter them. But Manchester United have 12 absentees for this game, or probably more or less than that. So, in reality, I don't expect a single penny. I do not expect a single penny, and I do not think we'll win this game. However, you never know. You never know. But what I will say is Mohamed Salah, Luis Diaz and Darwin Nunez, I think they're going to have a field day. They will have a field day around that defence. Because it's like, you've got, basically, Harry Maguire, who's been our best player, is out. He's been out. So, if he's out, Rashford is coming back, which is okay-ish. But, yeah, I mean, Johnny Evans will have to play against Liverpool. Oh, please, no. Please, no. I mean, I've never been so traumatised in my life to see these two teams. But after last year, this just makes me scared. It makes me scared again. Because Liverpool, it, it's our, like I said, it's our graveyard, really. So if that's, if that's something to take, Liverpool fans will be like, bring this game on. Not me. But obviously, you never know, Liverpool with Salah... Salah, Gakpo, Nunez, Diaz, all them four attacking fronts. They are four brilliant attacking players that Liverpool have. We don't have any. We've only got Anthony, Marcus Rashford and Rasmus Hoyland. That's it. Hoyland hasn't scored in a while. Marcus Rashford is off form. Anthony, he is showing spells. That's what I will say. Anthony, I do think he has been one of our most informed players, which might seem a bit weird for me to say. But I do honestly think that. I think... The way how Anthony has played, he's finally feeling a lot more confident on the ball than he did before. And I like that. I like seeing that. Obviously, most of the fame will be going to Garnacho because of that goal he did in Liverpool against uh, Everton. But I do feel like Anthony, he's done, he has done well. And I do believe he should start for this game against Liverpool. That's why he is on my thumbnail. And well, what do we expect? I don't particularly know. But now, look away, United fans. This is the most recent form for United at Anfield. I don't like this. I don't I don't like this. Yeah. Our last win came on the 17th of January 2016 against Liverpool. Ever since then, we've drawn or got absolutely embarrassed. And looking at the Liverpool wins, 
one, two, three, four, five wins in the last nine games. So basically, we've only won one in the last nine, which was in 2016. And I did actually see a star, which is quite embarrassing, to be fair. Manchester United, in their last games, have conceded 20 goals at Anfield against Liverpool. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Not my mistake. 18 goals we've conceded in 8 games against Liverpool at Anfield. Manchester United, on the other hand, Uno. Uno goals. Uno. Which isn't good. And, well, let's have a look at the scores. 2-0 there to Liverpool. That was in the Europa League when they did draw them. 0-0 again, 0-0 again. 3-1 there to Liverpool in 2018, which got uh, Jose Mourinho sacked. Liverpool 2, Man United 0. I mean, to be fair... That was when Liverpool won the league and they were also singing, we're going to win the league, we're going to win the league. And they did win the league that year. Then in 2021, we drew 0-0 to them. That was when Liverpool weren't that particularly good. United were good. We finished second, got in the got in the Champions League. That was under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. We were all right. Then the embarrassment started to come there for United as well. We lost 4-0 to Liverpool. On that game. That was the game which Ralph Rangnick played. And well. Hannibal Mabry actually showed some desire. And some passion to play. He was the only one. All the others just went off to Tesco for the meal deal. And then. Ugh, uh, do I have to talk about this really? Do I? Do I really? Oh my god. Right. The 7-0 then. Yeah. The only time. I invite one of my mates, who's a Liverpool fan, they absolutely batter us. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you very much. But, uh, yeah, 7 0. Oh. I don't like that scoreline. You, you know that. And actually, ironically, we were 1 0 up. We were 1 0 up that game. 1 0 up. Oh, no, 1 0 down. Well, we were 1 0 up before. Then that goal got offside. Then, obviously, offside. Then, after that, yeah, calamity started as well. Liverpool scored, made it 1-0, thanks to, I believe it was Cody Gakpo, I think. He scored, made it 1-0, and then finish it off, 7-0 happened. And, yeah, what can I say? Absolutely miserable, miserable, miserable day for me. Absolutely miserable and, yeah, the fact that, like I said, one of my mates went round for that game just shows it's even worse, the fact that, out of all the bloody times, really. Thanks, United. Thank you very much. But, uh, yeah, they are the recent form at Anfield, and, well, it doesn't look good, really. Not really that good. This also doesn't help Man United, the injury crisis, because obviously, as you can see, uh, there are 10 players that are injured. And, well, some of them players are pivotal players there for Manchester United. I mean, this season, Harry Maguire, he's been probably our best player of the season. And I will say that without a shadow of a doubt. I think the Harry Maguire, how he's revitalised himself to become United's starting defender is an amazing story and should be an inspirational one. Because he was there thinking... Hang on, it'd be best if leave. I even thought it'd be best if Manchester, United, if Manchester United let him go. I thought it'd be best if he left. However, no. He wanted to stick with it, and when he grabbed his opportunity, he grabbed it perfectly. And because of that, he's done all right, Harry Maguire. He obviously got the Premier League Player of the Month, which I thought was deserved. However, he did pick up an injury against Bayern Munich, which means he will be out for this game. Bruno Fernandes, uh, one of our key midfielders, he's out there for this game, suspended. He obviously picked up that yellow card against Bournemouth, which I think was pretty petulant of him. Casemiro there, he's showing signs of recovery. He's showing signs of recovery, and I would like to see him. However, I do believe there could be a chance where Tanag might potentially sell him. Lissandro Martinez, I think he's been our biggest loss for United. I think he has been... A little bit like our, like City's version of Rodri. Uh, when Rodri's out with the team, they're nothing. Manchester City are nothing without Rodri in that team. With Rodri, without Rodri in that team. It's like United you know, with Martinez. Lissandro Martinez was a very good defender. And I will say he was one of the best defenders in the Premier League. When he played last season, he was there. He was ruthless. He was like an Amanya Vidic, where one of them hardcore players that didn't give a shit and just wanted to 
well, annihilate his opponent, really. That's what Martinez did. The Butcher, as they call him. And yeah, he obviously got injured because of the injury he picked up against Sevilla last season. Then it ag aggravated him. So he's injured till January. So we'll be back soon. Mason Mount, again on that injury list. It was his back last time. This time is his leg. So we might not see him in a few more months. Christian Eriksen, he obviously got injured. I do believe he will be back soon, though, Eriksen. I think he will be back. Same as Tyrell Malassia. Malassia will be back soon. He's obviously also been training. Showed glimmers of training at Carrington. So I know... He's all right. Martial, illness, to be fair. I'm glad he's not playing anyway. I think he's an absolutely shocking player, and I think we should sell him. Same as Jaden Sancho. Obviously, Tenag wants him gone. Tenag wants him gone, and that's obviously why he won't be playing. And I think he's going to live till January, then he will be the second absentee gone. Then Ahmed Diallo. I mean, it's a shame actually seeing Ahmed Diallo go, because I did think in pre-season he did show signs. He showed signs of, like, he was there... He was a threat for us. He did show that he was signed. But the fact that we are heading to Anfield with these players injured is a very, very big worry. And even though I think it'll be tough, this is my starting eleven. what I think Manchester United should use. So first of all, the main one, Andrea Onana goes in goal, number 24. Then defence, obviously because of Harry, Magu Harry Maguire's injury, it's going to be a bit shaky. So I think Luke Shaw will play, obviously, like usual. Then I think Raphael Varane will come and take his spot. Obviously, he did play against Bayern Munich. I believe he will play this game against Liverpool. Then Victor Lindelof will come in number two. I mean, Johnny Evans against Mo Salah. It's only going one way, isn't it? And Mo Salah sent Martinez for a hot dog this time. I wonder where he'll send Evans to Ikea. I don't think that'll happen. So that's why I think Victor Lindelof will have to play instead of Johnny Evans. Then, I know a lot of people are saying Dalo. I think wan -Bissaka should play. Because I think with Aaron wan I think this... I know he's not had a good game against Liverpool. But I do think he's a player you can tackle anybody. And obviously, it was a challenge tackling Salah last year. This year, he will be up against the left... He will up against the left wing, which could potentially be Luis Diaz. If that is the case, I think wan -Bissaka can completely get rid of Luis Diaz and make it a very quiet game for him. So that's why I'm going to say him there. Then the midfield, obviously because of Bruno Fernandes, this midfield is L very much changed. And I do think uh, Scott McTominay will play as a little bit like a false number 10, I think. I think he will... I think Ten Hag will try and put him as the main midfielder to get the goals. Obviously, he's a goal scorer. He might have scored the most goals for United this year, which is a bit depressing if he has. But, uh, yeah... He's a goal. He can score goals. He can He can score goals out of nowhere. So that's why I'm going to put McTominay there in that role, and then put Kobe Mainu replacing him in that spot. Mainu, this will be tough for him. It will be a tough game, but you have to start off a tough game. You have to start off tough. And obviously, the last game against Everton that he did start, he played very well. Newcastle, to be fair, nobody played that well there. But I think if he can have another good display like he did against Everton. He'll be fine. Then Sofian Amber about number four. He will be the one that we'll have to do, like the Casemiro role. Then the forward line. Obviously, I know Marcus Rashford has had a lot of scrutiny. And I know he's been bad. But, yeah, I, I think it's time to give Garnacho a bit of a rest now. I mean, I'm not bothered if Garnacho does play. If Garnacho plays, it's fine. But I think it should be a time for Garnacho to have a bit of a rest. Maybe start Marcus Rashford, see how he can do for this. Because I don't think our natural really deserves to be on the losing team, really. But, uh, yeah, I think Rashford, he can play there in the number 10. Then Rasmus Hoyland will obviously be the main striker, because, well, Martial is ill. And then Anthony, number 21, will, I think, should play. I mean, he's played all the recent games, and I think he has been our, I think he has been our best player. He has been one of our best players. Alongside Aaron Maguire, I think Anthony has been on there. Against Galatasaray, he played very well. And ever since then, I think he has turned better. Newcastle, he played all right. Bayern Munich, he played all right. Chelsea, he played good. Bournemouth, he played okay there. So, I don't think he has played that bad, Anthony. That's why, yet again, he is in my starting eleven, And that completes my predicted starting eleven. what I believe Manchester United should use against Liverpool. Then you obviously know, after the lineup comes the good old prediction and what do I think this result will happen and I do think that for both teams it'll be an okay game but I think one team will win very easily and that is not Manchester United 
I believe Manchester United will lose this game. I mean, they are Liverpool, the better team. And they are. I mean, Liverpool are first way sixth. So if that doesn't show you, then you know what I mean. And yeah, I just think Liverpool will have that confidence, obviously, from last season's 7-0 win. So they'll think, hang on, if we're United are rubbish, we can do this more to them. Even though Klopp denied that it could happen. But I think Liverpool will win fair and square. And I think it will be quite easy. So I'm going to say it will be a 3-0 Liverpool win. I mean, it could be a 4-0 win. But I do expect Eric Ten Hag to do a pack the bus scenario. Where we just go full defence, prime Mourinho. And just see if Liverpool can score from there. So part of me thinks it could potentially be a dull fest. But Liverpool find a way to obviously score. I mean, they scored at City. So they're going to score here. And I do think once that breaks, the cracks begin to show. And then you'll know it. So I'm going to say it will be nil-nil at half time. And then I think Liverpool will score a goal maybe around the 60th minute. Maybe around the 60th minute. And I do believe Mo Salah will score the first goal, make it 1-0 to Liverpool. I mean, Mo Salah has found a way to score against us, well, all the time. And I do believe Salah will score to make it 1-0 to Liverpool. Then it could easily be a second goal, and I think it will be a second goal. Probably three minutes from that, one nil down. I think they will score again to make us capitulate, and I do believe Dominic Shabashlai will score in this fixture. I know he's a player that well. He he's been a good player for Liverpool, and he was good at Abbey Leipzig, the Hungarian uh, magician. However, I I'd, I I think he'll score again. I think he'll score again for I think he'll score for Liverpool in this fixture. I, I, I really do. And in my match review, you'll know why I don't want him to score if Liverpool win. So I'm going to say 2-0 Liverpool. Dominic Shabashlai scores a goal, made it 2-0, makes it 2-0. And I think to just finish finish the game off, I think it will be a third. And I think it will come from Luis Diaz. I think Luis Diaz will find a way to score to make it 3-0 to Liverpool. Therefore, that is my prediction I believe Manchester United will lose 3-0 to Liverpool. And just like that then, I will get going. So if you do like that video, if you do say something, it would really mean a lot to me, but you don't have to. As I shall go, see you soon. Stay safe. I'll be talking to you on the next one. See ya and bye-bye.